I started out with a vision of writing a novel straight away, but I burnt out after three chapters. I had lots of enthusiasm, but I lacked the tools. I was trying to summit the mountain before I climbed the hills. My friend Ed recommended that I work on short stories. This has developed me immeasurably to the point where I now feel ready to take on the novel. I'll go into a few videos about how I'm approaching that in future, but right now I want to set out how writing short stories can provide an excellent foundation for you as a writer. The biggest advantage is to accelerate the feedback loop. I got this idea from reading Zero to One by Peter Thiel. That book applies to the startup world, but really it's relevant to any project that you could be working on. It says that your number one focus is to get feedback as quickly as possible, so you can improve the product and then ship it out for further feedback. The way to do this in writing is to work on short stories. Let me give you a comparison to illuminate this. The shortest novel is probably around 50,000 words. That's the benchmark for something like The Great Gatsby. By contrast, the maximum word count for a short story is around 5,000 words. That means a short story is 10 times faster to produce. And by the way, your friends will be 10 times more willing to provide feedback. What's even better, a story is a story is a story, no matter what the length. It has to contain the same elements of conflict and resolution, characterization, setting, beginning, middle, and end. You are training the same skill set that you will be using in your eventual novel, just 10 times faster. To hammer home this point, take a read of this one-liner that is often attributed to Hemingway. I'm sure you'll agree that despite its length, that is a remarkable story. The final point in this section is that you are building your endurance. If you look at it, a chapter is roughly the same length as a short story. Once you have a few shorts under your belt, that mountain of a novel will begin to look like a series of hills. It is really just a chapter after a chapter after a chapter. My second point is about rewards and disappointments. Why do people drink coffee as they write? Yes, it's an energy boost, but it's also a micro reward. It says, well done, keep going, every couple of minutes. Each completed piece is to be celebrated. With each short story, you prove to yourself what is possible. And this form can often pack an even greater punch than a novel, because the art is so condensed. On the other hand, if you feel you've messed it up, firstly, you haven't. It takes guts to write, and you've learnt things in any case, even if it doesn't feel like it right now. But if you do feel that way, a short story takes weeks or months rather than years. Writing is a long distance sport. Occasionally, it will feel like a sprint, but mostly it's the joy of continuous forward motion. You want to avoid big emotional downs because the risk is you stop running. With a shorter piece, you can deal with the feedback more easily because it is a modest sacrifice. Go for the novel, absolutely but focus first on building that perseverance, that attention on growth rather than reaching the end product. And by the way, no writing is wasted. I have pieces that didn't quite hit the mark at the time, but have powerful elements. For example, the concept could be fantastic, but the execution was flawed. Or there may be a single sparkling line. These elements are the well that you can draw on going into the future. And as I plan my novel currently, I am picking up these past relics and repurposing them for the job. It is like raising the dead. Imagine the movie Coco, for instance, where all the dead come out for a party. Think of your failures along these lines. The third point is that you are paving the way for the novel. I've talked about preparing that road in terms of skill set and mindset, 
There's also a more immediate tactical way. It's a great way to get an agent's attention. It serves as proof of your ability. I had a friend who got a short story published in a journal and an agent got in touch with her out of the blue saying that he'd enjoyed the short story and was wondering if she was working on anything more substantial. At that point, she said yes indeed and whipped out her novel draft out of her back pocket. Once you have a few good short stories under your belt and have developed your craft, then I advise you to go for the novel so that you have it ready when opportunity calls. And all the time in the background, you should be reading your favorite novels as silent preparation. I want to finish with some real game changes when it comes to writing short stories. The first is to read what works. For my birthday, my friend Dat got me a book called A Swim in the Pond in the Rain. And this goes through classic short stories, paragraph by paragraph. At the end of each paragraph, the writer pauses to analyze what has happened and to consider next steps, as if you are writing the piece from scratch yourself. They say this about history, that it is made going forwards, but analyzed looking backwards. Hindsight makes everything look inevitable, but this book forces you to see all the possible avenues that are open, all the potential pitfalls, and the best next steps for this particular story. It forces you to read like a writer. My second tip is to make sure to choose a plot that works as a short story. My first short story a few years back took me six months to complete. I had to visit time after time after time. I just couldn't get it right. And the problem was that I had picked the wrong kind of plot for the format. Basically, there was a guy waking up on the morning that his girlfriend was leaving town. And there wasn't actually that much action left to take place in the story. All the main points of interest were in the backstory and what had already taken place in that relationship. And that was the main point of feedback. So make sure to stack the odds in your favor. Another way to achieve this is to think what can realistically take place in a few thousand words. And the best way is to read classic short stories and make a little summary of the plot and aim for something of similar length. So that's likely my longest video yet advising you to go short, but I really hope it helps you in taking those first steps. Enjoy them and let me know how it's going for you in the comments. Until next week, have a good one.